uh, let's start with this session so hello everyone i am siddhika sheik your gdsc lead of ai ktc so welcome you all to our info session next slide so all right future world changers look around you this isn't just a room it's a launch pad your weapon not a rocket but your smartphone ready to blast off a mission that's bigger than any instagram story yes i'm talking about gdsc solution challenge your chance to turn google technologies into a super power for good we are talking about tackling real world problems which are aligned with the un 17 sustainable development goals using the amazing of the google technologies so in today's session we are going to discuss about overview timeline rewards criteria workshop and technologies and also about registration so let's come to what is solution challenge next slide yes so you might be wondering what is solution challenge let me give you a real example imagine waking up knowing your code could fill empty stomachs your ui ux design could transform classrooms into immersive worlds or your app could bring clean water to thirsty communities the gdsc solution challenge is all about taking this potential and turning it into tangible solution we are not just building a cool tech we are building a better future imagine a child in a drought stricken village yearning for a drop of clean water your app could be their lifeline using ai powered sensors to locate hidden waters sources or gamifying water conservation to empower a community imagine a picture of a girl in a remote village with zero access to education your app could be her personalized classroom packed with ar powered lessons offline learning modules and even virtual field trips to far away libraries these are just you know a glimpse of possibilities maybe you will build an app that connects farmers with fair trade markets and empower refugees with language learning like ai or even combat climate changes with a platform for planting trees so this is all about solution challenge so uh, let's uh, look into the next slide okay so as you see on the screen there are 17 problem statements on which you need to make a solution using these google technologies as you can see on the screen so that's all about solution challenge next screen okay so now what is discover design and develop this is a opportunity to learn grow and build together the path unfolds in three crucial steps you might be wondering what is discovering and all right okay so you need to start discovering with turning these realities into your mission walk through your community talk to shopkeepers struggling with waste visit schools for resources feel the urgency in their voices understand the human cost of these problems just don't read the statistics hear the stories behind them let empathy be your compass guiding you towards a solution that truly resonates because the most powerful app aren't built on algorithms they are built on a deep understanding of the human need so your first step will be to discover the problem and make a solution out of it after you find out what you want to create now this is a time to imply design design now transform your discoveries into blueprints for change start designing your ideas using figma and other tools brainstorm with your team unleash your creativity and design out the perfect solution will it be an ai powered app that fights food waste a gamified learning platform for marginalized communities the possibilities are endless uh, you just uh, embrace the user centered design ensuring your solution is not just innovative but accessible and impactful after you design your solution now it's the main time to develop this is the most important and the main step 
the time to turn your design your vision into reality master the tools you need like ai ml cloud technologies ui ux design android development the list just goes on learn from workshops collaborate with your team and build your app brick by digital brick every line of a code becomes your weapon for positive change right they just think this is not just a competition it's a transformation you'll discover your strengths you'll hone your skills and collaborate with passionate people all while guided by industry expert you will be challenged supported and ultimately empowered to make a real difference in the world with your technological super power so now let's come to the next slide okay so let's discuss about the timeline of this challenge so the registration has started from december 1 to 21st jan 2024 this is when you can register for solution challenge note every member from the team needs to register alone and please make sure to join anjuman islam's chapter on google developers community from whatever college you are okay so now let's come to kick off event it's on january 11 2024 this is the official launch of the challenge uh, by the global gdsc where you learn more about the goals and expectations uh, you will be introduced to the official uh, google uh, global gdsc people after that the submission of your projects starts uh, opening from january 21 2024 and the submission closes on 22 feb 2024 it is the 22 feb is the last date to submit your project this is the deadline for your final solution for judging so as you can see on the screen our uh, judging round 1 starts from march 2024 the judges will review all submissions and select the top 100 teams to move on to the next round then after judging round 1 top 100 uh top 100 teams will be announced early in april 2024 the top 100 teams will be announced publicly after that you again need to resubmission your uh, project and judging round 2 starts from may 2024 the top 100 teams will have the opportunity to resubmit their solutions based on feedback from the judges there will be a second round of judging to select the top 10 teams after that the top 10 teams will be announced later in may 2024 so after that the last winners will be finally declared on june 27 2024 the winning teams will be announced at the final event so that's all about the timeline of solution challenge 2024 next okay so you all might be thinking that uh, what are the rewards and benefits uh, this is the most exciting part of gdsc events and workshop that wo what will be getting so now we'll be discussing about the rewards and the benefits so the top 3 winners will win a dollar 3000 cash prize per team member a feature in the google developers blog and global demo day live stream plus mentorship with a google expert and uh, swags and a certificate uh, the top 10 finalists will win a dollar 1000 cash prize per team member a feature in the google developers blog and global demo day live stream plus mentorship with a google expert swags and a certificate will be given so the top 100 teams which comes globally the global 100 top 100 teams will win a t-shirt and a mentorship with a google expert help from expert to take solutions to the next level swags and a certificate will be given to them so that's all about the rewards and the benefits for the solution challenge 2024 so uh, now criteria will be explained by shreyas so over to you shreyas thank you so hi i'm shreyas nair and i'll be briefing the criterias for you 
project criteria what are the checkpoints team formation this is the step where you want to identify a group of members with diverse skill set and come together as a cooperative team register yourselves individually into the solution challenge and there can be a maximum of four members in each team selection of a problem statement select the problem that you wish to solve through your project and note that it must cover at least one domain out of the 17 goals laid down by UN. Propose a solution. This is a step where you want to propose an idea or a solution to the problem that you identified. Project setup. This is the step where you want to do the groundwork. Identifying roles, setting goals and also deciding the technology that you will use. Implementation and testing. In this step, you want to convert your idea, a solution idea, into a project and test it for its smooth working. Review and feedback. This is the first time where you do some user testing and take positive and negative critics from them. Use those critics to improve your project into a better one. And then project finalization. Project finalization is the final step with your project where you give it some adjustments, final touches to make it more presentable. Submission is the last step that is needs to be performed where after all the other checkpoints are met, you make a demo video of two minutes describing and showing how your project works and how it can solve the selected problem. After the demo video is done, submit your project and the demo video to the Google's challenge. In this flowchart, we describe the same points. Steps to follow. Join the Google Developers Club. Form a uh, team and register. Select a UN goal for development. Identify the solution. Design the user interface. Design the backend. Test your solution. Iterate on your project. After all these points are met, you record a demo video and submit the project from 21st January till 22nd February. Note that this timeline is only for submission of your project and not for registration. You need to register yourself to the solution challenge before 21st January. Next slide. Project evaluation criteria. What happens after you submit your project? Evaluation occurs. How will it be evaluated? The 10 points that we know of are how well you describe your project. Why this domain? Why did you choose this domain of all domains? You can include one or many domains as you wish, but why did you include them? You have to describe that here. Describe your project architecture in detail. Describe how your project was made. What are the steps followed? Why were the steps taken? Platform or tech you used of Google with reason. As you know, the solution challenge is presented by Google. So what technologies of the Google did you utilize in your project to come up with this solution? You have to describe it here. And feedback and iterations that were performed. As mentioned earlier, you have to do your user testing, identifying a group of 10, 20, 15 people who come from different strata of the society and who can benefit from your project. So you have to describe what feedback you received here. Next slide. What challenges did you face while coding? Here you have to describe at least one problem that you faced while you were coding and how did you come over with it? How did you find the solution to that problem? And how did you implement that solution into your coding? How does this project solve the problem? You have to describe how the project that you propose solves the problem that you choose. Demo video. This is a very important step again. You have to make a two, a two minute video that describes your project in detail. What are the future steps possible? Now the solution that you propose may be tested on 20, 15, 10 people at a time. But as you know, the UN's agendas are in, in general for the entire world. So how well can it be implemented in the future does it require any changes is this the final step or is it the prototype stage you have to describe it here all the steps that are possible in future how well can your project cater to a larger audience now you tested it with five or ten people how well can it do with a thousand a million or a lakh does it require any changes what might that be you have to describe it here next slide discover design develop AIML. Now, as you know, AIML is booming 
now than ever before. AML is the talk of the town. What is AML? AML is artificial intelligence and machine learning. All your chat, GPT, applications, BARD, Gemini, and all the other applications that you might be using are now developed based on AIML. What is AIML used for? It is used for providing a brain or thinking capacity to the programs that you create, reducing the human intervention to the minimum level possible. The speakers for this event will be Aves Khan of GDAC AIKTC and Jawad Deshmukh of GDAC AIKTC. Next slide. What will you learn? Through our workshop, you will be able to learn more about TensorFlow Pandas computer vision. What is TensorFlow? TensorFlow acts as the behind brains of all the AML applications that you see. To create a better machine learning project, you must know more about TensorFlow. Through this workshop, we'll be able to help you in that. Pandas. Pandas is used in data manipulation. So handling mass amounts of data is a must in AIML applications. So it will help you do that much more preferably than you previously did. Computer vision. What is computer vision? Handing over the ability to see and understand through vision to a computer is computer vision, as you may have thought. Imagine a world where cars can drive themselves, AI cameras that identify people as soon as they pass through. All this is now being implemented using AIML. Next slide. Why? Why learn this? It is an in-demand skill. As you know, all the MNCs, Google, Amazon, and uh, Microsoft, all the other big companies that you might have heard of are now implementing AIML in their solutions and their core to help them do tasks at a much efficient and much faster rates. So this is indeed an in-demand skill and having this skill will help you grow faster and implement better solutions to the problems that you have chosen. Innovation. AIML is all about innovation. All the tasks that you previously thought were impossible can be made possible to an extent by AIML. And AIML is still a new thing. So you can build something new that you might have not even imagined if you put enough efforts into it. Limitless opportunities. As I mentioned before, all the MNCs, everybody is looking forward to something new in AIML. So through your skills, you might be able to provide just that. Problem solving skills. AIML is all about that in general. Being able to solve all the problems that were previously limited by human abilities can now be achieved using AIML. So what are you waiting for? Future relevance. May or may not. Maybe you are using AIML in your project. Maybe you are not. But still, learning this would always help you in the future. Maybe in your career. Maybe in your general life. Who knows? Preference. As I mentioned earlier, Google is now all about AIML. And this year, Google is looking forward to all the solutions that implement AIML. So this might help you gain an upper end in Google's solution challenge. So why not attend this workshop? Features. Focus on building real world projects. Cover the latest technologies. Collaborative learning environment. Connection to Google solution challenge. Q&A sessions. And much, much more. If your active participation is received by us, we will be able to help you in many directions in general. Your, may it be your Google solution challenge or may it be your personal life. Through the experience and knowledge of our speakers, you will be able to implement your AML skills in a much better way and also avoid all the mistakes that they made and that you may come across in your projects. So what are you going to learn? How long is it going to last? The syllabus of this workshop is going to last for about five weeks, wherein in week one, you will be learning generative AI for developers learning path. Week two and week three will be focusing on intro to machine learning and pandas. Week four is going to have some great things going on, like intermediate machine learning, feature engineering, intro to deep learning and computer vision. Week five is going to include time series and intro to AI ethics. Now, I am not the speaker here, so I am here to give you heads up on what's coming in your way, what you can learn and what you can achieve. Help us uh, to help you more. Join us together at 
GDAC, we might be able to create something better for our world. Thank you. Over to you, Siddhika. Okay. Thank you, Shreyas. Okay, so uh, next slide. So, hi guys, I am Siddhika, your GDAC uh, lead, and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this exciting journey into the world of UI UX design. Whether you are a seasoned designer or simply someone with a passion for creating beautiful experiences, you have come to the right place. Here I'll be guiding and taking the workshop on Figma and I'll be teaching you UI UX designing. Okay, so what will you learn? You will be learning Figma. Figma is a cloud-based uh, cloud collaborative design tool which is used for creating user interfaces and you, uh, user experiences. Why did we choose Figma? You might be questioning. There are so many uh, tools, but why Figma? So we are choosing Figma because it crafts beautiful UI UX design. Whether you are designing websites, apps, or any other digital interface, Figma provides a list of tools and features to bring your vision to life, like thinking about shapes, lines, text, colors, effects and a lot it helps in working together in real time like forget the days of endless email chains and version control headaches figma lets multiple designers work on the same project simultaneously seeing each other's edit as they happen it's like having a virtual design studio where everyone is on the same page so prototyping effortlessly it turns static mock-up into interactive prototype with just a few clicks. See how your design flows, test your user interactions, and gather valuable feedback before a single line, line of a code is written. Okay, so share and iterate with ease. Sharing your design in Figma is as simple as sending a link. No need for bulky files or complicated software installations. And with this version history, you can uh, comment on the tools iterating on your designs. So you will be learning about Figma fundamentals for beginners. Imagine your screen as a vast canvas where, you're, where you will use tools like shapes, text, and frames to build stunning projects. The toolbar houses your trusty companions, your selection tools, lines, and of course, Text with some symphony of fonts and styles. Remember, collaboration is a king of Figma. So you can work seamlessly with your team in real time, no matter where you are. Next, we'll, expo we'll explore the building blocks of design. Master the art of crafting rectangles, circles, and lines to bring your ideas to life. Text becomes your voice, allowing you to communicate clearly and captivate your audience with diverse fonts and styles. Group related elements together with frames for seamless organization and manipulation. And most importantly, maintain a consistent visual language with styles, think typography, colors, and effects that sing a harmony through your design. So wireframing your solution challenge. Now let's tackle the GDSE solution challenge. We'll start by wireframing, like sketching a blueprint of your design, focusing on its layout and how users will navigate it. Then we'll add a splash of visual layer with colors, fonts, and imaginary, transforming your wireframes into high fidelity mockups that shine. Let, let me tell you the difference between low fidelity mockup and high fidelity mockup. The low fidelity mockups are where you design a wireframe. You just need to sketch and have a basic idea of what you what you are going to uh, create. And when you add uh, the, when you add colors, fonts, and uh, images, it becomes high fidelity mockup. That's all. But the magic doesn't stop here. There's a lot. Figma's powerful prototyping features let you bring your design to life creating interactive simulations of real user interaction by gathering valuable feedback, iterate based on user testing, 
and polish your creation for a spectacular presentation during the gdsc challenge so here you will be learning about ui ux designing where you will be able to design your app which will be based on any of the solution so that's all about uh, ui ux workshop now over to you arman ever dreamed of seeing your idea turn into an app used by millions do you have a story to tell or a problem to solve welcome to a journey where your imagination takes center stage and the canvas is your smartphone screen this is a bigger friendly android development workshop isn't just about coding it's about unlocking your creative potential and transforming your vision into a tangible reality hi there i am arman khan your android architect and alongside umar farooq our master builder we are thrilled to be your speaker on this journey to coding greatness personally i think i still remember the spark that ignited my love for android development seeing my first app run on a real phone felt like a magic and that's the feeling i want to share with you all next so what will you learn in this android development workshop so first of all you will learn android studio android studio is a developer playground it's an integrated development environment where you write code design layout and even see your app come to life imagine it as your virtual workshop complete with all the tools you need next thing is kotlin kotlin is a modern expressive programming language designed for building robust and concise android apps think of it as your building blocks making code clear and fun next is jetpack compose what is jetpack compose jetpack compose is like a magical paint brush for your android apps it lets you build meaningful and beautiful ui declaratively meaning you simply describe what you want and compose takes care of the rest of it. so why attend this android development workshop so first of all android development is a in demand skill android dominates the mobile market making it a highly sought after skill for employers worldwide with solution challenge focusing on real world solutions mastering android gives you the perfect platform to showcase your problem solving skills and potentially launch your career into android development competitive edge having a strong android development skill will set you apart you will be able to build meaningful and impactful mobile applications that address pressing issues give you a significant edge over other competitors now lucrative career android developer are high in demand translating to competitive salaries and exciting career prospects learning android for solution challenge puts you in the direct line of sight for potential internships or even job opportunities at google the google solution challenge emphasizes addressing real world problems through technology developing your android skills equips you with the tools to translate your problem solving ideas into tangible solutions to mobile apps android is also constantly evolving and google is at the forefront of it by participating in the solutions challenge with your android skills you will gain valuable technical expertise and stay ahead of the curve in the rapidly changing field. so features of our android development workshop so first of all we will be focusing on building real world project no dry theory here we will deep dive into head first building relevant impactful mobile applications that address the real world problems we will cover the latest tools and technologies that includes kotlin and jetpack compose like i said into our android development we will make our workshops collaborative so you will we will be collaborating with you all we will allow you to solve all of your doubts the android solution android solution the google solution challenge is highly connected to the android development workshop because why because it will allow you to develop android applications that will solve real world problems and most of all importantly we will also conduct q and a session and solve all of your doubts next so what is will be our syllabus for this android development workshop so android development workshop will span for over 4 weeks and each week we will conduct two modules the first thing is first module is introduction to kotlin programming language our second module is introduction to jetpack compose now in second week there will be two modules first module is displaying list and material design 3 the fourth module is navigation and app architect now in coming to the third week we will also have two modules the first module is connecting your app to the internet and the sixth module is data persistence now in our final week 
will look into more advanced concepts like work manager and working with the views thank you that's all from my side over to you siddhi thank you so thank you arman so guys these are our three technologies which we are going to conduct so we will be providing you the registration links for solution challenge 2024 on the following groups and it will be uploaded on your on our youtube channel so stay updated hello friends so i'm going to explain how you can register for the solution challenge from uh, google developer students club for this year and I, i'm going to explain about how you have to fill this registration form for the solution challenge so basically uh, the solution challenge is a competition where the students have to solve any type of problem statements by making any type of website or anything and this year we are focused on the united nations 17 sustainable development goals which means that the problems will be based from the united nations now i'm going to explain the whole registration and submission overview for this solution challenge so for solution challenge will be given two forms the first one will be this one as you can see in my screen uh, this form you have to submit for the registration and the second one will be the submission form where you have to submit your own project which you have made based on the problem statements including the demo video and github links and detailed responses to evaluation questions Now you all have to know that who is this registration form for it is for any and all individuals which are interested in this solution challenge and what are the requirements for it for that all you need is to be interest your interest is the requirement for that and it is not important that you have to make a team and you can also participate as an individual and who can fill this form each individual you have to fill this form no matter you are participating as an individual or as a team you every individual have to fill this form and when you have to submit this registration form you have to fill this form before january 21st not february 22nd remember that before you fill out this form if you want to know more information about this solution challenge you can go through the link uh, which you can see in my in my screen Now I'm going to explain the most important point which is of email address. Your email address from which you are going to fill out this form should be logged into the GDSC website and how you can log in to that website I'm going to show you right now. So you have to search for this link you can see in the screen which is gdsc.community.dev and as you go you can see the login or op sign up option which is not there in my screen as i've already logged in so there will be a sign up button here so you have to log in your google account and after logging logged in you have to enter this chapter section and after entering the chapter section you have to search for the college which uh, you can see in my screen which is anjuman islam's kalsika technical campus and after entering there will be a join button which you have to click on it and it is important better you only have to select this college name and there will be a join us button here so you have to click here here in my screen you can see the join as i am already the member of it you have to click join us button which will be there in your screen so let's get back to the registration form Now we will start the main work, which is filling of the registration form. As you can see, there is my email, which is logged in to the GDSC website. So I am going to use that. Now I have entered my email. Now you have to enter the first name and last name, just like I am entering here in this registration form. Now in this part, as how you are associated with GDSC, so you are you have to select a not a member option. As you are not a member of GDSC, so you have to select a not a member option. I am a member, so I am selecting a member option. But better you have to select a not a member option. Now the next question is which GDSC you are part of. So there will be a lot of list here from different countries. There will be a different GDSC, and in India there is a long list here. So you have to select Anjuman Islam's Kalsikar Technical Campus, and it is very important. You all have to select Anjuman Islam's Kalsikar Technical Campus, as just like I have done here in this registration form. Now the next step is which UN Sustainable Development Goals you are you are interested in. So it is of your interest which goals you have to choose. So I am selecting the Peace, Justice, and Strong Institutions, and uh, you can also it's your choice. It, based on your choice, you are, you can select one more or many you can, multiple options you can select here. So it's based on your choice. Now the next step is which Google tools or technologies you are interested in for making any solution for that problem. So I'm a web developer. I am choosing a web or progressive web apps. If you are an app developer, you can choose uh, Android and Flutter, and it is based on your choice, which you have to whatever you want to select. I am a web developer, so I have selected web and progressive web apps. 
now the next step is what is your primary motivation for this solution challenge so if you are learn if you are learning about different google technology you are interested in that so you can choose that if you want to make a difference in community in community so you can select that and it is also of your choice any one option you can select so for an example i am selecting learning about different google technologies now the next step is what are technical experience level if you are a beginner you can select beginner if you are intermediate advanced and expert you can select that it is based on your technical experience so for an example i am selecting beginner but if you are an intermediate or ex advanced or expert you can choose that now the next step is of terms and conditions agreement so if you are interested in all reading all these stuff so you can read whereas it is not important you all have to select i agree but the last step is important if you are interested in participating in more challenges this like solution challenge or any other type of events or you having any doubts related to solution challenge so you can contact to gdsc if you want to contact you can select to yes if you don't then you can select no so for an example i am selecting yes and that's all you have to click the submit button and after clicking the submit button congratulations you have registered for the solution challenge and that's it thank you so much